In this video, we're going to be discussing why you should never remove or run a colder temperature thermostat in your engine. Also, a really good destruction of the week. Hey guys, this is Josh with Depth Ape Channel, and in this video, we're going to be discussing a question I get a lot of, especially in the summer, and that is, hey, my engine's overheating. What do you think about, you know, I just take the thermostats out, run with no thermostats, or maybe go from a 190 thermostat down to a 160 degree thermostat? And my answer to that question, both questions actually, is always the same. No, do not do that. Now, why is that? Well, it's kind of a complex subject, but that's the point of this video. I think there is a basic misunderstanding of the purpose of a thermostat and why it's very important. Now, a thermostat is one of the cheapest components in your engine, at least compared to a piston or a turbocharger or a fuel injector or a cylinder head. But it can cost you thousands of dollars if it either fails or you're running the wrong one. And that's what we're going to discuss here. So. A thermostat does not help keep your engine cool. And the idea of running a cooler one to keep your engine cooler is fundamentally backwards from the purpose of the thermostat or a temperature regulator as Caterpillar calls it. But we'll just say thermostat, don't tell anyone. And the purpose of a thermostat is not to help keep your engine cool, but to help keep your engine hot. Now, why would you want the engine to be hot? If it's a hot day outside, you as a person wants to be cool. But an engine is not a person. An engine wants to run in a specific temperature range. Now, when I say an engine, we're talking about engine coolant temperature here. But of course, there's various temperatures in the engine. There's oil temperature, there's intake air temperature, exhaust temperature, all that. Mostly what we're going to be discussing in this video is coolant temperature, though, which is Basically, when you're looking at your engine temperature, that's what you're looking at, but also oil temperature. And oil temperature is typically a little bit hotter than engine coolant temperature, and it needs to be, and that's what we're gonna discuss here. So before we get into why these temperatures are so important, let's dispel the myth that running no thermostat or running a colder thermostat will help an engine from overheating. Remember, the thermostat is not there to help cool the engine. Now, people think by running a cooler thermostat, the coolant will reach the radiator earlier in the cooling cycle and keep it colder. Well, technically they are correct. Running a cooler thermostat will delay an overheat slightly, but the thermostat itself has no heat transfer properties. That's really your radiator and how efficient your fans work and if your shroud works, is the water pump pumping enough coolant? Is it the correct coolant? Is there too much coolant versus water or vice versa? Those are important things, not necessarily your thermostat. Now, of course, thermostats can fail. This one is broken, obviously. That can cause an overheat, but typically that is not the cause of an overheat. Although it does happen, it is somewhat rare, though, compared to the amount of times a radiator or fan issues the actual reason for an engine overheat. If your engine is overheating, it's because your cooling system is not losing enough heat. By basically just dropping the temperature at which the coolant reaches the radiator, you're not going to prevent an overheat. You're only going to delay it slightly. Now, by running a coolant temperature or a cooler temperature though, or no thermostat at all, you're going to be damaging the engine though in unforeseen ways, which gets us to back to discussing the importance of the thermostat and how important it is. It's like we were discussing the importance of the temperature range. Now, what is that temperature range? We're gonna be talking about coolant temperature here. That's generally about 200 to 220 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're talking centigrade, it's around 100 centigrade, and that's coolant temperature. Engine oil temperature is always a little bit higher than that. That's usually gonna run 210, maybe up to 250 at the higher end of the range, but you don't wanna get much past that or the oil can start breaking down. Now. The reason you want that temperature range higher is because the engine is much more efficient at that range. The piston and the cylinder wall are much closer together, but not touching yet. All the parts are at a uniform temperature for the most part, and they're running where they're supposed to. 
Not only that, the cylinder temperature is gonna be slightly elevated, which will help fuel atomize. It'll help not get glazing on the cylinders, which is kind of what you'll get if you run at idle for long amounts of time with a very low temperature engine, very cold engine. But the biggest reason really is the oil temperature. Now remember the thermostat does not control the oil temperature, it controls the coolant temperature, but the coolant temperature regulates the oil temperature to some extent, because most engines have an oil cooler, but not only that, most of the block is cooled by the coolant, which will help reduce the oil temperature in general. Now, why do you want the oil temperature to be slightly higher? Well, you get a lot of combustion, well, you get a lot of combustion in a running engine, but you get some what they call blow-by, which are fumes that go past the rings and into the crankcase where the oil is. Now, I was reading something earlier today while making this video, for a pound of fuel burn, typically you'll also produce one pound of moisture. Now, a lot of that goes out the exhaust, but some gets into the crankcase. Not only that, there's always humidity in the crankcase, and you're gonna get byproducts from the combustion cycle that make it their way into the oil as well. Now, the moisture, those volatile byproducts can form acids and other nasty stuff that you don't want in your lubricated parts of the engine, which is basically all the parts of the engine. You just want oil in there. Now, if you're, let's say you're running no thermostat, your coolant temperature is rarely gonna be very hot, which means your oil temperature is also going to be very cool. It's gonna be below boiling, 212 degrees Fahrenheit, and if it's below that temperature, you're not gonna get much vaporization of the moisture that's in the oil out. And what you can start to have accumulate is high amounts of moisture, acids, and volatile byproducts in the engine oil, which can start damaging things like your oil cooler, your bearings, basically all the metal parts, products and parts in the engine, which of course are very expensive, unlike our little friend the thermostat there. So you want your engine to run hot, not too hot obviously, if it starts overheating and it's getting up to 225, 230 degrees, you're gonna lose engine parts faster than it will by running it cooler, but running it cooler over long periods of time will also damage the engine. So, run the proper thermostat and make sure you don't overheat it. Now I am a much bigger fan of doing engine work than chassis work, but I had a set of kingpins to do on this tag axle and they wouldn't come apart, so I had to do this. So what we're looking at here, this is with a kingpin there, and this is not me doing this, this is our welder mic. And what he's using here is a thermal lance, which these are actually pretty cool. I've never seen these before until I started working at this dealer. And I'm not a welder, I can weld, but there's a whole, a huge uh, competence gap between an actual welder and uh, me. So what he's doing here is he's using this lance rod and it's actually, it's something between five and 8,000 degrees and it blows air or oxygen through this steel tube. And it'll just burn a hole through pretty much any steel. Um, I guess it also works on concrete. And the reason we're doing this, this kingpin would not come out. We, I even broke a sledgehammer trying to get it out. Um, and here's the aftermath. It's a pretty dangerous process. You do not want to be close to that thing. Um, when he's lancing, it throws molten metal everywhere, everywhere. Um, so here's what the old kingpin on the right looked like after it. It actually burned holes through the sides of it. And that is the size of the hole it cut through. Imagine trying to drill this out. It would have taken forever, whereas this took less than a minute. Uh, pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks for watching.